hi guys so today I'm making this video because tomorrow I will probably shave my head So basically, I've been thinking about shaving my head for what feels like forever, but really it's been only just a couple of months, but basically the last time I went to my hairdresser and I got this haircut, but I got it shaved on this side. You can actually see that it's much shorter than this side. And from there, I was like, hmm, maybe next time I should shave my hair. And really since then, it has become like an obsession for me. So by now, I have pretty much seen or YouTube videos where girls are shaving their heads. So first of all, I find it really fascinating, the whole process of losing your hair and how emotional it is and how attached we are, especially we as women, to our hairstyles and haircuts and hair in general. Obviously it has evolutionary roots as well, but it's very cultural too. Basically hair has always been a symbol of womanhood, right? But the funny thing is, all the girls that I've seen shaving their heads online, either on YouTube or Instagram or whatever, they just look so freaking gorgeous and sexy. At least to me, so much more than they did before. So I guess I'm just curious really, that's one of the biggest factors, that I want to shave my head just to see what happens. But if I'm really honest about the true deep motives behind this. I think it's about having the feeling of adventure in my life. Because I don't know whether this is just me having a middle life crisis, which is very possible to be honest, or if it's because I'm a mom and stay at home mom and my life can feel quite stereotypical at times. This shaving my head feels like a very accessible way to experience adventure at the moment. And you know what? I actually love my hair right now. I really like having short hair and having a bit of a bulk. My biggest concern is that if I shave my head, my head will look super disproportional to the rest of my body. So in other words, I'll have a huge ass all of a sudden. <laughs> but Honestly, I've been obsessed about this idea of shaving my head for the last couple of days So I don't really think there's going back because my soul is just screaming for it right now Davis having his haircut now, so I'm getting ready psychologically. Really? Fingers crossed, I don't look like a tennis ball. <laughs> you better have a good look at me because yeah. I won't look like this anymore. Did you tell her? No. I should, right? I think you should. Yo, Zeki. I'll show her a picture. She's like, um, <laughs> yeah, ma'am, what the heck are you doing? Do you want some wine? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just don't be. There was nothing. Even afterwards. Yeah. Alright. My heart is racing. I'll do the size first. It's so funny. Why is my heart racing? Um, it's not like, you know, I'm not bungee jumping or anything. Oh, have you done that? No. No. See, that's the thing. I am not brave enough to do these adrenaline things. So instead, I just. You just take it Omen my head. body, yes. Yeah. <laughs> She's so brave. What am I doing with my life? <laughs> mm, 
No, no I do you see people walking around with No, I, I think it's still very rare and uncommon in girls especially. Right. Like girls just in general have longer hair. You know. Well, I mean that's that's part of why I'm doing this because the hair is it's such a symbol of femininity, but like when you look at all the girls that shave their heads. Yes. They look so sexy. It's funny. I love it. It's, because it's it, true. it actually is, is super sexy and feminine, like on so many girls. So much more than when they have longer hair, because then yes. it's a bit more like, yeah, yeah, you look like everyone else, really. Exactly. But ready? Yes. Ah, it's my it's baby on my head. It's gone now. Oh, I'm not looking. I'm just drinking my wine. It looks so good. You are amazing. <laughs> it's gone. It's gone. Gabby, can you see it? Yeah, I'm not looking. You're not looking? Okay? <sighs> you did it. Oh, man. Well done! <laughs> <laughs> eh? Hey? Oh, David's yeah, nodding. Uh, yeah. Oh my god, it looks so good! Don't look yet. <laughs> <laughs> Don't look yet. Do I have hair in my wine? No. Okay, good. I'm gonna drink it. Isn't it look amazing? But I think I should go shorter. Mm. Yeah, maybe. Let me see first. Let me see first. Should I should I open my eyes? Yes. See? Look how awesome that looks! <laughs> <laughs> how oh cool is that? God. Oh my god, that's that looks amazing. Crazy. Does it feel good? It is that too much? Yeah, that's a bit long, eh? I just okay. have to get used to it. I love it. Look at that. You look better. You look, you look like an old lady before. Yeah, you look like <laughs> much rounder than what I thought See it was. See how awesome that is? Oh my god. It's done now. There no. you go. No, no, it going hurt. Back. It no, hurt. It actually feels nice. I know. So you're not divorcing me, David? Not yet. Woof! You know what's going on? I think I like it. How funny is this? So like my heart was racing like a minute ago and now I'm just chilled completely. Do you have anyone that you want to show straight away? My mom probably? Yeah. Did you tell her? Yeah. My mom is like, fuck yeah, that's I what I always mom's... wanted to do. What <laughs> is she? Hi guys, so this is the new me. Hello. <laughs> it's been about three days now that I've had this haircut and it feels amazing. The more I look at it, the more I love it. I can't st stop checking myself out, which is quite funny. And I am so glad I did it. I feel super confident just by the definition of having the balls to do this and to be honest it's been quite incredible because i feel like my whole spirit has been lifted not to say that my life was dull or boring before but it just feels like such a new fresh air you know i feel brave i feel cool i feel like i'm making a statement and to be honest i feel a little bit like i'm invincible I know it might sound a bit silly because it's just hair, right? Like it's gonna grow back. It's not like I've done something that's completely irreversible. But just try and check in with yourself how freaked out you would be about the idea that you're gonna go bald tomorrow and you will understand what I mean. And that I would say has been the biggest thing in this whole process of shaving my head for me. The letting go of your ego and of all those things that you're attached to because you feel like they are what makes you who you are. But in reality, that's not who you are. You're not your hair, you're not your makeup, you're not your clothes, you're not your house, you're not your education. None of these things that we identify ourselves with so much and we are so freaked out about losing them are actually who we are. Realizing this and having the proof for it by experience it myself now is just so freaking liberating. And that's partially why I say I feel invincible now because it makes me question all the other things in my life that I feel attachment to and go, well, what if I let go of this? What's gonna happen then? Also, having my hair this short allowed me to experience a whole new universe in terms of sensations on my head because now every time I go outside I can feel the wind blowing on my head and taking shower 
is amazing. I love, always love taking long hot showers, but sometimes it needs to dry and yeah, like you gotta be careful how it dries because otherwise it's all over the place. Now I can wash my hair every single day and enjoy this because this takes like five seconds to dry. And I know this will sound super cheesy, but I feel like shaving my head actually allowed me to have a better connection with my body and then with the nature as a whole, just because of the sensations that are so much more intense now. Another thing that I thought it would be just fun to mention is that now I just feel like I want to highlight my facial features more and wear a little bit more of makeup. <laughs> Even doing something as simple as applying a lipstick and a little bit of eyeliner all of a sudden transforms your entire face and makes it so much more intense. I feel so sexy right now. I also love wearing earrings, so any earrings I put in now just makes them shine and stick out so much and I love it. So basically, long story short, if you're thinking about shaving your head and you're asking me, I'm saying, Go for it. And what's the worst thing that can happen really? You're not gonna like it and then you can buy a wig. I mean, that's pretty fun too. I was actually thinking about buying a wig myself because I always wanted to try to go blonde or some other color, but I don't wanna ruin my hair. So what a better solution than this, right? And if you're still scared and you don't feel ready, but you are fascinated by this whole idea, then I would recommend you to just sit with your fear and explore it. Ask yourself, why are you so freaked out about this whole idea? Why wouldn't you want to try it? What's the worst thing that can happen? And what would that mean about you? Because I reckon you will discover quite a few very interesting things about yourself, your identity. And yeah, it can be a very interesting growing experience. So I hope you enjoyed my transformation, you guys. Let me know how you liked it down below in the comments and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh,